Simpler techniques to measure the market risk use, uh, you know, the price sensitivity like duration, whereas the advanced techniques like uh, VAR, valuation risk use uh, probabilities and also the correlations across different products. Now, the how does the evolution of the market risk measurement has taken place? Uh, if you see with the increasing sophistication, it starts with very uh, basically on a notional amount. Say that if you are holding a particular kind of position, uh, this may, may be the maximum one lakh I will incur. That is the uh, you know notional amount. Then sensitivity in analysis, that is for the simple one, which considers only see the sensitivity which uh, is duration uh, was used to measure the market risk. Then the next one is the value at risk at transaction level. Uh, uh, the consider basically the volatility of the individual uh, uh, security or the position and uh, arrive at the value at risk. And the, uh, the uh, next one is uh, value at risk at a portfolio level because the banks holds uh, different kinds of exposures uh, in the trading book, be in the interest rate book or in the exchange rate uh, positions or equities. And that there, is, there exists a uh, you know kind of a correlation across the market. So the 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 last measure of value at risk at portfolio level takes care of the uh, volatilities and also the correlations. So this the are very very technology intensive. Particularly the value at risk at portfolio level uh, requires a lot of uh, simulation measures to compute the value at risk. Now let us understand the most uh, important uh, uh, risk measure uh, to measure interest rate sensitivity and which is known as duration. And duration, very layman language, we, we, we can say that uh, it indicates uh, the maturity of the bond. But because of the cash flows which are happening, this is the case in case of a zero coupon bond which doesn't have any cash flows in between. Uh, the, what is the impact of the cash flows? Because all these cash flows which are happening in between, suppose you are talking of a bond which has a coupon payment uh, happening every year. The every uh, coupon payment which we receive will get reinvested maybe at a higher or lower than the rate at which we are earning on the existing investment. Suppose you are talking about 10% uh, bond and the interest uh, is receivable at the end of one year. Uh, maybe when we receive this uh, 10 rupee coupon payment at the end of one year, we may uh, it reinvest them at 11% depending upon if the exist uh, rate then is 11% or it could be 9% if the rates have gone down. So that basically uh, you know changes uh, the uh, what you, the maturity because of this cash flows. Basically, this uh, duration concept comes in because of the intermittent cash flows and the impact of the interest rate on those uh, reinvestments. So it measures the sensitivity of the bond price to small changes in the yield. We know that uh, whenever there is an, if you have a fixed rate bond and the interest rate goes up, the value of the uh, bond goes down. They are inversely related. The price and the uh, YTM they are uh, inversely related. If the YTM goes up, the value comes down. If the duration of the bond is phi, and it means that if the when the YTM rises or falls by one percent, bond prices will fall or rise by five percent. So that is the uh, you know the understanding when we say a particular bond has a duration of phi. So it is applicable only to the fixed income portfolios, and. Uh, it is used for very small and parallel shift in the yield curve. And at the same time, it doesn't take into account the probability part. This has to be uh, clearly understood. When you are using duration, it's only, uh, we are only using the price sensitivity of the bond to the interest rate uh, movement by a known quantity. It doesn't say, at, you know, what is the probability of that change happening? So this is the, uh, the formula of duration. Basically, it is the weighted average time to maturity of cash flows where each uh, weight is the contribution ratio of a discounted cash flow to a total price.
The duration formula is summation of time into present value of cash flow at time t and divided by the bond price. Now, let us understand duration, how it is effective maturity. We know if maturity is the date at which you know, uh, the, any fixed rate instrument matures for payment. Then what is effective maturity? And in the short horizon, if the interest rate rises, uh, you know, uh, the, the reinvestment gain will be smaller than the price fall because the compounding interest interval is very short. Because in the short horizon, if the interest rate rises, uh, the reinvestment gain will be smaller because, uh, you know, we, it, since it is the time horizon is uh, short, whereas the price fall will happen the moment there is a change in the uh, yield of the bond market rate. The price, if there is an upward movement, the price of the bond will fall, but at the same time, the reinvestment gain will be smaller than the losses. But if the long, longer horizon with a, a rise in the interest rate, reinvestment gain dominates the capital losses since prices are close to far. So basically we have to understand these uh, uh, two differences when interest rate rises and short horizon and interest rate rises long horizon. What is the difference? In case uh, of a short horizon, uh, the reinvestment gain will be smaller than the price fall. Whereas in the longer horizon, reinvestment gain uh, is more than the capital loss. So therefore, what is the duration? So there for a coupon bond, that is the bond which is uh, having a periodical coupon payments, there exists a point of time before maturity at which the reinvestment gains are equal to capital loss and vice versa. This is a very important uh, point here because this only defines the duration. The duration uh, matches the losses or gains capital uh, losses or gains with the reinvestment gains or losses. The duration of a zero coupon bond is equal to its maturity. Uh, that's what we have seen. And even in case of a council which has uh, literally a uh, you know, perpetual bond, they, because there are cash flows, coupon payments happening, they have a finite uh, duration. Let us take one example to understand the uh, duration concept. Suppose we have a bond which is a five-year bond, why? This is coupon is 10 percent and five-year maturity. So we get 10, 10, 10, 10 and 10 plus 100 principal. So when I get at the end of first year this 10 rupees, so this 10 rupees is available for reinvestment. So if I am able to, re, uh, if the interest rate goes up, we know that the bond price is going to uh, fall. But my reinvestment of this uh, 10 rupees, suppose the rate of interest now becomes 12 percent, I am going to get additional 2 percent income on this 10 rupees uh, which is reinvested. So is the case with all these coupon payments. So all these coupon payments are going to be, uh, you know, they will get reinvested at the prevailing market rate. Instead of 12 percent, if the rate of interest is 9 percent, you know, in that case, the, I'm reinvesting the coupon payment at lesser than 10 percent, which I'm going to get on the original investment. So basically, the duration, uh, like we've seen in the earlier uh, discussion, is a point at which the losses or gains on account of the, basically the capital loss or the gain, basically the price fall or gain, matches the uh, gain or loss on account of reinvestment of the coupon. 
So that basically is the, the point at which you know, it uh, balances the uh, capital loss gain with the reinvestment gain or loss. Uh, if you see the example here, the first year cash flow is 10 and the, it goes on till the fifth year uh, where we get the principal and the interest 110 back. And we know that the, all the financial instruments, uh, the valuation is done based on the net present value basis. So most of all the financial instruments will have on the date of origination their net present value as zero. So only when, when all this risk factor changes, the NPV changes. So that is where how the market value gets changed. So to arrive at all these cash flows, to arrive at the correct value, we need to uh, present value all those future cash flows. Though the first cash payment, uh, the coupon payment of 10 rupees, will have a present value of 9.10 using the discount factor applicable for one year. So uh, accordingly, two year, uh, cash flow which is happening at the end of second year, another 10 rupees, will have the present value of 8.26. Like that, uh, it goes up to the fifth year where the present value of cash flow of 110, when it is present valued, it comes to 68.30. Going by the definition of the duration, each the period will have the weight to the cash flows. So we multiply the period with the present value to get the column D, which is A and C. When you take the total, it's coming to 416.97. And the present value, uh, presuming that it is 100. So when the duration is 416.97 divided by 100, which basically is 4.1697 years. And the modified duration is duration divided by one divided by one plus yield, that is 10% here. So the 4.1697 divided by 1.1 gives you the modified duration, which is Price change can also be, uh, you know, uh, used for duration estimate. Like in this uh, one example, which has 6% coupon and uh, phi is the duration. Yield rises by 0.60%. New price can be calculated using uh, the uh, original price minus original price into duration divided by change in the yield divided by 1 plus the uh, yield. So the new price is original price minus, orig uh, minus original price into duration into uh, price yield change. So this comes to uh, 100 minus 100 into 5 into 0 0.006, 0 0.6 in percentage terms divided by 1 plus yield. So that is 97.17. So this is another way uh, using the modified duration. We note the price change is equal to original price into modified duration into change in the yield. So that basically is the uh, uh, duration measures the price sensitivity and the uh, delta Y measures the quantum or the, uh, you know, the uh, amount by which the uh, sensitive factor has changed. That is the yield. So modified duration is also used for capital charge. Uh, you know, the regulators have uh, accepted the uh, uh, modified duration as a measure of uh, capital charge uh, maintenance. Now we have, at this point, we also understand another price sensitivity measure, which is uh, known as basis value, point value, BPV, or what is generally known as price value basis point. Basically, it is quite similar to the duration, but it measures the change in the price for one basis point change in the interest rate. That basically is the, uh, because it is very, very uh, useful in case of uh, monitoring your interest rate positions. Uh, because with every basis point, because the interest rates, when interest rates are very volatile, it is very important to uh, know the exposure of your portfolio to the interest rate volatility. 
So the best way to know is how uh, you know your portfolio is getting uh, going to be impacted with one basis point movement in the interest rate. Suppose a five year bond at 8 percent yield is priced at 96.01 and a one basis point above 8.01 is priced at 95.97. Please see the inverse relation between the price and the uh, yield. The price value basis point as we are, uh, know is basically the movement in the price of the bond for one basis point uh, change. So basically uh, we, the, uh, we have seen that the 8 percent yield is priced at 96 and 8.01 is priced at 95.97. Basically the difference between the 2.04 is PVBP. So indirectly it also gives the M duration because we know that the uh, M duration measures, uh, modified duration measures the price sensitivity of the bond. So if uh, the interest rate goes up or down by 100 basis point, the value of the bond will go up or down by 4.05 percent if the mod duration is uh, 4.05. So what it implies is the, what is the sensitivity of the or interest rate on the uh, price of the bond. Higher the maturity implies higher the duration, implies higher more duration that means higher volatility and higher uh, price value basis points. So that is the uh, understanding when we see the relation between the maturity and the duration.